Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. Gonna do a commentary video for Total War Rome 2. This will be a Massilia versus Egypt battle. I'll be commanding Massilia. My opponent's name is Metal Max 18, commanding the Egyptians. In my factions I'm using, Massilia. These guys came out around the same time that the Black Sea Colonies Culture Pack DLC came out, but they are not part of that Black Sea Colonies Culture Pack. These guys were located along the Mediterranean in a Gallic territory, and this was a, a Greek city. And uh, these guys were really good friends with the Romans. They got a lot of help from the Romans when they were invaded many times, and uh, they sided with the Romans during the uh, during the Second Punic Wars. And these guys remained pretty much independent, even though they were pretty much located within the Roman sphere of influence. But they made the mistake of siding with uh, Pompey during the uh, Roman Civil War, so uh, Caesar made them a part of the Republic, and they lost a lot of their a lot of their independence for the most part. All right, so here is my army setup. I have five Massilian hoplites, four Massilian cav, six Massilian thurio spears, and four peltists. So I have a lack of longer range missile units, but that's okay. So uh, this is what my Massilian hoplites look like. These guys are pretty sweet. They fight like hoplites, of course. That is uh, showing it's a Greek influence. And there's the uh, the backside of them. I think they look pretty sweet, to be honest. And uh, next, on my my units, I have the Massilian Thurio Spears. And uh, you can see a lot of the uh, the Gallic influence on these guys, on some of their armor. And uh, it's a nice uh, blending of Gallic and Greek influences. And there's my Massilian Cav F4 units of these guys. And they had other Cav available to them, but I wanted to use these guys out just because they had the Massilian name attached to them. Finally, I have four units of Peltists. And in case you're wondering, uh, Massilia, they are known today as Marseille, located in France. So, their name hasn't changed that much today. Alright, so here's a tactical overhead. I'm yellow on it, and my opponent is red on it. So, I, want, I wanted to go uphill and fight my opponent on even terrain, but my opponent cut me off. As you can see, he's running over there to cut off my my ascent. So here's my opponent's setup here. He has one Ptolemaic Cav, four Egyptian Cav, two mercenary Cretan archers, one mercenary Rhodian slingers, six Thorax swordsmen, two Egyptian infantry, and four Levy Thurio spears. There's his general right there. He put his general with these guys. And then he has these, uh, these four units of Egyptian Cav. Then he has these uh, two units of mercenary Cretan archers. So he has a better range than I do. Then he has these uh, Rhodian slingers, of course. And you got some of his uh, thorax swords. I was kind of worried by those guys. I didn't know how my hoplots would fare against them. Then the uh, low-grade Egyptian infantry. They're wearing some old uh, native gear there. They disappear. Then he has those levy thorio spears, which I've never seen before. But when I saw the word levy attached to them, I became less worried by them. So you can see my my army's approaching uphill. And uh, and uh, I'm going to occasionally uh, keep switching directions here, but I wanted just to confuse my opponent, but I really wanted to get up that hill so I could fight him with even terrain, but he kept cutting me off, so I kept running to the right, running to the left, running to the right, running to the left. It was part of my strategy, just to uh, throw him off balance, maybe. But he was not going to budge here. So I'm going to send my cab up that hill right there towards the border. I wanted to do something to change up the situation, so I wanted to get up there, maybe fight those two units of Egyptian cab. And here I really thought we were going to fight... But it didn't make much sense that he would take on four of my Massilian Cav with just two fairly low-grade Egyptian Cav. My guys are pretty low-grade too, but he only has two and I have four, so that wouldn't make much sense. So he does not fight. But we're going to watch here anyways, because like, during the battle, I, I really did think he might have engaged for whatever reason. Because you don't really know what your opponents are thinking, especially if you don't know them. So I was hoping he might have just went in, you know, kind of recklessly, but he did not, though. So now I'm going to split up my cab. Kind of entice his cab to engage one of them. Then I could uh, come in and and uh, sandwich him from the other side with my other units of cab. That was my strategy at this point. So right there is the red border. There's the back side of my cab. Looking at those uh, Egyptians, they look pretty mighty there, don't they? So here I'm swinging my army back this way, but I'm going to change directions again as he keeps trying to cut me off. 
So anyways, my strategy with these uh, with my Peltus is basically leave my Peltus in the front of my army and then just soak up his uh, missiles. Because he does have that definitive um, missile edge there. But uh, I think regular Peltus are heavily armored enough that if he did waste his ammo, or if he targeted my Peltus, he was, he's pretty much just going to waste all of, his, all of his ammo on them. And that's me changing directions again. So I see him coming forward this time, and that's what I wanted. Either for him to let me go up the hill, or for him just to come down at me. So a lot of uh, direction changing with my marches there. But yeah, I really just wanted to keep my Peltus in the front. And, um, and uh, you also see you know, how much damage they can take from those, uh, those Rhodian Slingers and his Cretan Archers. And if he, if he cho chooses to uh, fight to shoot these guys, then yeah, he is going to waste his ammo on them. Because they have enough armor that it's going to make your decision shooting against these guys kind of uh, worthless. Unless you really don't like the Peltus that much, then sure, just get rid of them. So here it is, he started to shoot at my Peltus. And it's kind of a gamble here, because I'm letting him shoot my Peltus, and... He's going to have those extra units of, uh, of Cretans and Slingers where they can engage in melee once they run out of ammo. But I knew that though. I just wanted to see how the strategy worked. Though they're his Rodian Slingers now taking shots at me. Now these guys carry more ammo than the uh, Cretan Archers. So we're going to watch his uh, huge barrage here. See, I could have uh, charged forward here and let my, uh, my Peltus exchange fire at close range, but I was kind of worried that he would just scoot his uh, Cretans back. And, uh, yeah, I really just wanted to uh, drain his ammo. That was my strategy. But you can see they have a lot of armor, and they have a pretty decent shield. And these units aren't that expensive, the regular Peltus. As opposed to his uh, Cretan archers here. These guys are very elite. And quite expensive. At least marginally more expensive than my, my regular Peltus. So yeah, my one unit of Peltus right there are down to like 40-ish men. So he is draining my guys, but at what cost? His guys are... They don't have that much ammo on them. So here, I'm, I'm going to activate Rally just to keep my... That blinking unit of uh, Peltus in it longer. Little glance at the uh, tactical overhead again. Situation hasn't changed that much. And uh, that was part of my strategy. Just, you know, let's let's drain these missiles. That's a nice look at the mountain in the in the background there. Anyways, prior to the uh, Punic Wars, um, Masile did also fight Carthage prior to that situation as well. So they had a history with Carthage. Carthage being quite jealous of Massilia's, uh, you know, prosperity. And I think it's cool that these uh, these. You know, like, not lesser-known factions, but, you know, the, these, I guess, lesser-known factions are being made available. It's good to have a nice representation of of the world of antiquity. Anyways, my opponent decided to uh, tackle my, my cav, because look how, how separated my cav is, and I was really enticing that. So I, I even had that nice little down downhill uh, charge at his guys. At least having the hill advantage there. That's going to let my guys um, survive long enough for the rest of my cav to get there. But you can see, he's uh, he's throwing in some cav. It's an, an Egyptian cav unit and also a unit of uh, Levy Thurio Spears. But I gamble that I can take out his Egyptian cav before those guys get there. So here's my my charge on from behind. But look how close his Levy Thurio Spears are. But luckily, his guys start to break at this point, his Egyptian cav. But there's more on their way, so I do want to get out of there as fast as I can. I don't want to get shot by those uh, javelins. You know, I probably could have charged them, but I didn't want to get bogged down because he has more units coming. And I was afraid his tall mate cab would join too. But there's his Egyptian cab unit. They came right in and uh, charged my guys, but his guys are actually losing a lot of horses there. But I did not like I did not like getting shot by those Levy Thurio spears, so... At the same time, he didn't like getting killed by my... By my Massilian cav, so he even pulled his cav out. So that fight didn't really 
fight. We, we weren't happy with that fight, either of us. But I think I came off better from it. So I've already killed two of his cab units. Meanwhile, he's still uh, skirmishing my dudes to death, but that's fine. But I'm still draining his ammo. So I'm already minus two regular peltas. And my two other peltas are pretty low, but you can see they stopped shooting. His guys are out of ammo, see? They've, they've drawn their daggers out. So that's how long it takes for them to uh, waste their ammo. To drain the ammo of the Rodian Slingers and the uh, Korean Archers. So now he's going to come forward. He sees that he has no more uh, ammo on his long range unit. So he's going to come forward. I'm going to come forward too. I still have my cap on my right there. Now I'm going to stay here and uh, shoot him with my javelins from my peltas and also from my Thurio Spears. Watch my Thurio Spears open up on him. See that? Bam! That's pretty sweet. And as his guys get closer... See, my guys still have javelins left, but I want to pull back. I don't want them to, you know, go in a head-on fight with those uh, those Thurak swords. So I'm going to pull back behind my my Massilian Hoplites. I have five of these guys. So I gamble that, you know, my hoplites can hold the line. Maybe even kill some of these, uh, these swordsmen here. So you're gonna see my... my Sicilian hoplites up close. Look at those guys. Awesome. So that is the, uh, the battle line right here. I really like these close-ups. It's quite beautiful, I think even on my crappy computer. So he is trying to outflank me too, see on the on the overhead here? I still have my, my cab on my right, but he's coming in from the left, but I have a reserve line of my Thurio Spears, that's why I pulled them back. They still have their javelins, and they're also serving as a reserve line. Just to deal with his flanking moves. And he's also coming in from the right as well. And that's when I activate my, my semi-depleted unit of cav. I'm going to come in and launch um, uh, Hammer Strikes. Now I'm getting shot by his guys. See that? As I got too close to his guys, I got shot by his javelins. I didn't like that too much. But totally worth the risk. If I can get some charges, maybe uh, route some of his units. Freeing up some of my guys. But he's going to counter charge. I wasn't too happy about that. I'm sure he was. Then he's throwing in all of his um, his skirmishers too because they have no more ammo. So those are his uh, those are his Rodian slingers coming in and his Cretan archers coming in to charge. So at least he um, he made good use of them. That's the action on the right flank. Here's the uh, the big picture though. He's got a unit routing in the middle there, or they're on the verge of routing because they're going up against my uh, my hoplites. Then they stopped routing. He also has a general coming down my left over there. That's his general unit of the uh, the Ptolemaic Cav. So I put my guys into square, the one that was nearest him. See them? So instead of charging them, he's gonna swing around and look for a different target. It would've been nice if I could've uh, just killed his general right there. So he stops there momentarily. We're gonna watch some other action here. Back to the Hoplite fight. Those are my Hoplites. And those are his uh, Egyptian uh, infantry. Going at it with some of my uh, my, my Massilian Thurio Spears. So look in the very back, I got my cab coming back around. So they, they actually survived getting charged by his, uh, his cab. And getting pincered by his skirmishers. So I can still launch some more hammer and strikes, see this? Now Massilian cab isn't the best unit for it, but the fact is that's all I have. So I'm going to uh, you know work with what I have. You can't pause a game and then buy new troops during battle. It's impossible. So I want to help out my hoplites. I figure if I can help out my hoplites, then I might have a better chance of, of winning this. You know, free up the hoplite battle, then that will free up my hoplites, and then they can help out in the more troublesome sectors of the battle. Fortunately, he's just shooting my guys. See that? He shot my guys on the right there. Yes, commander. Now he's going to counter charge with the general, and uh, his Ptolemy Cav is very, uh, very useful in, uh, in shock situations like this. 
but luckily my hoplites are holding the line. And uh, they're doing more than that, they're also they're also beating back the enemy's infantry where they're concerned. I'm losing some troops, some, some troops too. See, look on the right. The right is my, my weaker flank. I mean, not the weaker flank, but that's where I'm having the most trouble. See all my blinking units right there? That is not good. Not good. But I am winning in the middle. And I'm holding out on the left. It says I'm losing. And, uh, you know, the situation did not look pretty, but look in the middle right there. I have a unit outflanking. See that? That unit of Mesolian Hoplites. That's what I had to do. Because I wasn't... I wasn't winning any support on the right. In fact, I lost all my guys on the right. So I have to outflank with my victorious Hoplites. Try to free up the center so I can uh, combat the enemy menace on the right. Having my general there is pretty good too, but my general is getting hacked pretty uh, pretty badly right now. But look at all those blinking, uh, lovely blinking Egyptian flags, or banners. So I freed up some more units right there, which means I can uh, be more victorious in the middle. And in the middle is where I have to win. I mean, it would be nice to win elsewhere, but this is my my big my big chance. So I'm outflanking wherever I can with my hoplites. So it really doesn't look pretty for me even at this point, but it is getting better. And he managed to catch my guys, not in the best uh, formation right there, but still my guys will hold. They're going to hold their, their own. I see his general again. His cav pretty much rules the battlefield at this point. I lost all my cav from, uh, from trying to rescue out my center, which I think in the long run it actually paid off. But the fact is right now I don't have any cav now. Yes, commander. Yeah, and when you don't have cav and your enemy has cav, then you kind of, you surrender a lot of initiative to your opponent when that happens. Whether you wanted to or not. By your command. Into square. So, whenever you see his cav coming, you have to try to respond to it. But if you don't respond to it, you'll lose a lot of guys. But luckily, uh, yeah, my guys are doing a pretty freaking good job of taking out these cav when they do come in. Look at more blinking flags, including his general. But his general's not gonna route. He will waver. And, uh, yeah, you can just see the big picture of what's happening everywhere. See, like, where I can, I'm out flanking with my units. And where he can, he's gonna charge in with his general. But I think having these Massilian Hoplites really uh, saved me in this uh, situation. Because, you know, they really held their ground. They're a very good defensive unit. And uh, they had enough uh, skills to, uh, to defeat the enemy's um, infantry. In these encounters, anyways. And that's a nice little look at the uh, combat up close. But yeah, now in the balance bar, yeah, this battle completely favors me. But that balance bar doesn't really mean too much, though. It's just, it's just a nice indication of what's happening at the moment. But things can swing at any second. You never know. That's happened to me many times. happened to my opponents many times, too. So you can't live and die by the balance bar. But in this situation, mass route of his units. And ends up being a costly victory. I really thought I was going to lose this one. And so I had a very lucky uh, lucky start with Massilia. And uh, you can see the damage. Good game to Metal Max 18. And uh, post your thoughts on Massilia. How do you feel about them historically? How do you feel about them as a faction? And uh, thanks for watching this battle. I really do appreciate the views. And I'll see you guys later.